Mayfly hatches, especially the big ones that we see in June and early July, can put a major kink in many anglers' plans. With abundant natural forage emerging from the mud, swimming through the water column, and floating on the surface, it can be challenging to piece together a productive pattern. Be confident, however, that fish remain catchable even during a strong mayfly hatch. You just have to understand how the fish respond under these conditions. The most important observation I've made during years of fishing mayfly hatches is that the fish make a deliberate move. They transition away from obvious cover where I've been catching them recently, cover like weed lines or stumps or rock piles, and move instead onto nearby flats. The key to a productive trip during a strong mayfly hatch is to use your electronics, in particular hummingbird side imaging technology, to find the fish that are roving around those flats. Here's a hummingbird side image of a nearly featureless flat. About the only things we see are a small log on the right hand side, and perhaps a few fish, which are the brighter white sonar returns that are closer to the edge on the right hand side image. Now let's look at a flat that is full of fish. Notice the large number of bright white spots against the much darker background of the bottom. Each of these bright spots is a fish. Notice also that some of these fish have a prominent dark spot, or sonar shadow, that is associated with that fish's primary sonar return. These are fish that are suspended high off the bottom, presumably chasing bugs that are getting closer to the surface. Knowing where the fish have moved, and how you can find them, is half the battle when the bite turns tough. Hummingbird side imaging technology is your key to success when the mayflies hatch, so head to the flats, find those fish, and catch them up.